it's coffee time! Mm. Coffee. How I have missed you and coffee time. How we have missed you. Yesterday I got a little bit too gung-ho. Like, this is the first coffee time, but the official not no caffeine week double negative day was yesterday. And I got so excited. I went to Starbucks. I got a huge coffee and I drank it all, like really fast. And normally I drink very slow. I will take a 16 ounce drink and normally take maybe two hours, maybe longer to drink all of it. So I drank a venti sized Starbucks coffee in a pretty short amount of time. I was just like hanging out, chit chatting. Drank all of it, and I was like, oh man, apparently I missed coffee. And my stomach was really upset. <laughs> like, really upset with me, and I was like, oh no. Oh no, that resistance is down. The resistance to caffeine is down. And just coffee in general is a, pardon the term, diuretic. So I was like, oh, all the tummy pains. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm fine now. I haven't been, uh... Haven't been having any issues today, so thank goodness. Uh, but I did drink mostly water today, not gonna lie to you. I was like, I'm not doing that again. I'm only gonna drink a little bit of coffee today. And this is first cup of coffee today. So I've done pretty well. I drank a ton of water. I wanna make sure that my body doesn't like go into shock, because that would be no fun. Um, but yeah, guys, I spent like all of today trying to get those Blood Bowl videos to render and upload. And my goodness, was it an issue. All of us were having issues with it. I was planning on, I was trying to render this overnight, right? So that it was just done. And when I got up this morning, it had rendered in those black screens that are the bane of my existence. And typically I assume it's a RAM problem. So normally I just save the actual project file. Sometimes I even restart the computer so that there's nothing going on open up Vegas, and then just render it. And uh, no matter what I did, I kept getting black screens. So I finally just said, all right, I'm just going to upload it. Just so sad. Part one had one black screen. Part two didn't have any, thank goodness. So overall, it was okay. I just, I hate that there was that little gap in there. And unfortunately, I didn't get mine up until after TVs had been up for quite a while. So I don't think that it got as many views as it could have. But that's okay. It got up there, got up there, and spoiler finger, if you don't want to know how those matches ended, um, mute now. I won't talk about it for too long, so mute. Okay, so guys, um, I did not expect that at all. I did not expect to do that poorly. Like, I feel like, for the most part, um, my strategy was sound, but the less... Girls I had on the field, the less I could come up with anything to do. Uh, and I, I feel like it was really good that I had that really hard matchup right at the beginning as like my very first match because I now know a lot of holes in my defense. I saw a lot of things that I'm doing wrong and now I have kind of a better idea of what to do against more bashy teams. So, um, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Trial by fire. I will rise from the ashes and become a great phoenix. And that is all. You can you can unmute now. But uh, you wouldn't have been able to hear that. <laughs> if you were still muted, you wouldn't have been able to hear me say, Hey, you can unmute now. You can turn your sound back on. It's okay. You would have been like, Hmm. Hmm. Next week's match is against Jesse. I'm very excited about that. He is playing Wood Elves, which are typically known for, uh, apparently, <clears throat> typically known for being one of those high agility teams that is very hard to master. It's very, very good if you are a good Blood Bowl player, if you already understand the whole thing. Wow, what happened there? Wow. Um, so I'm going up against him. We're both going to have like super dodgy teams. But I think that I can beat him. Um, I think that my team is scrappier, if that makes sense. Uh, those like those witchy, those witchy chicks with like the big old mohawks, the orange mohawks. They look so cool. And his team do like little flips while they're on the field. Whatever. I am gonna annihilate. I can't wait for that match. I think that we're playing on Friday. I think that's right. 
Hold on. Let me consult my planner. But I finally got, goodness. Yes. Friday, I am beating Jesse. <laughs> I can only hope. I can only hope that I defeat Jesse because I know that I've played a lot more than him. Also, it was requested of me that uh, because after you play, you get your winnings and your player points, and then you get to spend those before your next match. So it was requested of me that in between each match, I show what I spend my money on and uh, talk about what my strategy is for the next game and all of that so that people that aren't very acquainted with the game kind of get more of an idea of like the step-by-step -step process of being in the tournament. So I'm going to do that because I made a playlist for Blood Bowl. So uh, my, my training video, my most passable training video went up and my two uh, parts of the TV game went up. And then in between each match, I will put up uh, kind of strategy things for as long as I'm in it. I seriously passable player, most passable player. I'm going to get to the semifinals. That is my goal. I'm trying to gauge right now. This is going to sound terrible. All of you that are in the tournament, if you watch this, I'm trying to gauge right now whether or not I can beat you. It sounds terrible, but this is what I have to do. I have to like look at everybody and kind of establish their stats and their play style and be like, all right, can I defeat you? I've been playing games against um, hard level wood elf teams. They're good. They're good if you understand them, I think. So it's going to be interesting to play against Jesse because I don't know. I know that he's been training with Krender now. So I'm like, ugh. I don't know if, uh, if he's going to be better. I'm assuming he will be better. But will I still be better? than his better? I don't know. I don't know, guys. So that's that's all the, the Blood Bowl drama that's been going on today. So along with that, I've just been doing laundry like an adult and drinking all the water, playing with the cat, um, dicking around on the internet. The usual. The usual. And now... Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna go get ramen. I cannot wait. I'm so happy. I feel like I feel like it's been forever. I feel like it's been forever since I've had ramen. And I'm so excited. I get to like go and hang out with a couple of people that I haven't seen in a really long time. Um, one of them just moved closer to me. So I'm like, yay, we can be like friends. So we're going to go and hang out and um, I'm going to try to make him get the spicy ramen because it's so good. But it, they bring it to you in like this huge thing like this. It's like a special. So you get the spicy ramen and they bring it to you and like, oh, this is so big. And I think with spicy ramen, it's normally the broth that kills people, right? So not like, not like actually, but like it makes you stop eating it. Even if you're still hungry, you're like, I, my mouth, I can't. So I think it's hilarious that they're like, oh, you want our spicy special? Here, it's about three ramen bowls worth of ramen. <laughs> you're like, oh, so I'm going to try to get him to get that because then maybe I can steal some of his broth because the broth is so good, but I know that I don't want all that, you know? Uh, so that's what's going on with her. Mm. Mm. I have missed coffee. I'm not going to lie to you. I have missed coffee. And I've noticed that I'm like a little bit perkier. Like... <laughs> I've, I've been pretty level all day while I've been, you know, drinking water. And then I was like, all right, time for coffee time, for legitimate coffee time. I'm going to go grab my cup of coffee and uh, drink a little bit of it and then start filming. And I drank a little bit of it and I was like, wow, I'm doing good. I'm so awake. I can't wait for ramen. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to think when Mike is talking. Oh, and I'm very happy because all of my personal filming supplies have finally gotten here. Do you want to see? I know you do. Ready? So my tripod is finally here. And, and my, ugh, my camera is here with the actual lens that I needed. I'm worried that we're gonna get ours mixed up now. 
So I feel like I should write my name somewhere on it, but I'm like, but then what if somebody wants to buy it off me one day? What if I'm like, I need to get the better thing now, you know, when I'm a billionaire? I'm going to be like, um, 60 days. That's like back when I was a bebe. So, but I still feel like I should write my name on it. It's a good camera. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. I've had this part. I've had this part for a long time. The lens has taken forever to get here. So I've just been like, hey, hey Mike, I'm going to use the lens again. And he's like, where is your lens? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so now I have all my things. And I'm very happy about that. Because now nobody is going to be taking my shenaz. There's never going to be that situation where I'm like, sorry that my quality is booty. Somebody else is using the camera. No, no. This is my camera. This is my camera. Unless I lend it to somebody, which will never happen because I'm hella selfish. Uh, <laughs> it's so terrible. Um, unless that happens, uh, I should be consistently doing good quality news at the very least. I want to be able to like permanently set up the camera just in one spot and never move it so that I can do all my videos with it, but it's gonna take some kind of like finagling because my arm is a little bit tight. So, uh, but yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> I hope that you guys had a great day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay,